In a nutshell, what I learned about this journey and what I, what I enjoyed most is getting the time to reflect. It was just an eye-opener in, in, in many, many ways. Yeah, my game plan from the start was really just to remain as, as neutral as possible. I formed a, an early alliance with Heike. So my game plan was that, you know, just to form a, a strong alliance from the beginning, find myself, ground myself, and, uh, and let everything around me happen, you know, the way, the way it should have. Um, yeah, and ob observe and sort of attack when, when need be and when the need arised, basically. I hadn't ruffled anyone's feathers. I really did remain um, neutral as far as my game plan was concerned. I had a strong alliance. Um, I was very, very, very strong in, the, in all the challenges. All in all, I don't, <clears throat> I don't feel I would have played the game that much differently. No, not at all. Obviously, I love the challenges. That was my favorite thing in the world. I'm a, I'm a highly competitive person. What I hated was watching myself lose as much weight as I did so rapidly. I mean, I lost nine kilograms in, in 12 days. But other than that, you know, I just, I, I love the game of Survivor and I wish to God that I could, I could take it right, could have taken it right through to the merge and, and possibly been in a top three or top five. I have a, a condition that I've lived with my whole life called vitiligo. It's a very, very rare skin condition. The screw up I made um, entering this game is in my, in my, my medical. I didn't, I didn't put there that I had vitiligo. It has nothing to do with my, my, my physical being. I'm perfectly fit to play this game, but I stand the risk of the spreading, blistering, and ultimately giving me skin cancer and because it's so rare, people aren't really going to understand, but now I have the opportunity to explain, and that's why I had to depart. Well, I have to say my, my favorite challenge was, was definitely my last one, because I won in the end. By winning that challenge, obviously, because we still had the immunity for, for my, well, for our tribe had the immunity, so I had to take that off to the challenge, and by winning it, I got to obviously keep it for my tribe and save them from having to go to tribal council. You know, that, that's, that's really all I wanted to do. I wanted to come back to the tribe because they had no clue what was going on and hand them back the immunity and sort of gracefully bow out. The best advice I have is just to completely switch off. Um, you know, stick to the game plan you had previously coming into the game. And, and when it comes to challenges, you know, just forget about everything else. Uh, forget that you got an empty stomach, which is obviously difficult to do, but just try and focus. Try to remain yourself. I know it's not easy, but, but, but it, is, it is truly the key, I think, in this game, for sure. So that would be my advice. Jacques' first point, the cemetery. Jacques heaves past Tejan and stretches the gap on the rowing leg of the race.